Whoa, how y'all doing out there? This is your man, Nico B, and this is The Black Effect. Hit that like, subscribe button, donate to the uh, Patreon if you so see fit. Matter of fact, pardon me, donate to the Cash App if you so see fit. We don't do Patreon or anything like that. Just uh, if you want to support Black Business, anything, you know, you want to donate, or just hit that like button, man. It's free. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe button is free. All right, let me get into this, man. And um, I, this is a uh, under the title of this video, man, is um, the workplace environments in America are very unhealthy. Workplace environments in America are some of the most unhealthy places to be. And I mean, what do you mean by that, um, uh, Nico B? You know, what I mean is, is exactly what I said. For mental health, for physical health, for uh, spiritual health, for all over, uh, all around um, well-being, um, it's 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 an un American workplaces are unhealthy, and not you and not all of them are cut from the same cloth, but it's only like just a little bit more. We already know a lot of these workplace environments are modern day slavery. I've done video a video on that like two years ago when I first started doing videos. It's just the truth. I mean, I had to learn that, you know, the way that these things work. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, not all jobs, like I said, are cut from the same cloth. You know, if you have, depending on what you have invested in this, and then some people, you know, some people like uh, the companies are a little bit better. Now, it's not many of these places. You could look these places up like in, these are like the top companies, like the fortune companies, the companies that get all of these accolades and things like this. And you know why they get all these accolades? Because they should, because, you know, not many companies operate like them. Some companies like Container Store or, or things like that are pretty good companies to work for. You get stock in and, you know, you don't feel like just a number in there. Like, you, f you don't feel expendable, you know, and they give you grounds to uh, move up in, in the position, you know, things like that. But that's what I mean. Like, a lot of these jobs don't do that. You know, a lot of these jobs try to, um, a lot of these jobs, let's just start with the, uh, I'll start from the spiritual on, on to the health. Spiritually, man, we all know that you come to these jobs, people be spiritually dead in these jobs. People don't even want, they want to leave before they get there. The people don't believe in what they're doing. A lot of people, you know, have jobs, you know, that's that's killing their spirit. You know, a lot of jobs that they're doing serving Satan and uh, a lot of jobs that they in that is satanic. Like, if you a bartender, like, you don't, know, you know, you can't really be a guy for in person too much, you know what I'm saying? Serving people, getting people drunk, and you got, because you want to use your integrity. You see, you know, you don't want not want to serve that nigga. That last, that, that, that 35th drink. But, um, it's a lot of jobs like that, you know. Um, a friend of mine, you know, a very, um, prominent YouTuber on, uh, you know, well, brother in Christ, I say, on um, YouTube, done has done a message on that Tiario man um, about you know these satanic jobs and you know a lot of think of some of these jobs these people have. Like some people have jobs that's actually causing people to be harmed. You know, like people who have these military jobs where you where you um, creating bombs like you might just be putting the coordinates giving people coordinates to things you need to get the coordinates and boom and you know what I'm saying or or you may be doing things to uh, uproot people out of their house or you know these jobs of some of these jobs are very healthy now this let me get this disclaimer before you know I, I continue <laughs> understand you have it's ordained by God that a man has to work or he's not gonna eat God knows that a person who's not working or making money is going to be driven to sin. He going to steal. He's going to want to eat, you know, things like that. So you have to work. We get this. But what I'm saying is these jobs need to improve. It's not the people. They willing. You know, the body is willing. The the jobs need to improve because all else these people look to just go, you know, do their own thing and, or just usurp these companies. You know what I'm saying? Because not everybody is going to, um, you know, have the talent or the drive to start their own business or do anything like that. That's under, you know, and that's understandable, you know. 
and the country should understand that. You know what I'm saying? Really, if you ask me, I think that um, I'm a fan of that. Um, um, forget what it was called. Just that where the where they just where the government just sets everybody, gives everybody a level of housing and a level of um, income at a certain level, just feeds that out. And for so people can start being so they and I think that would actually allow the country to grow. If you ask me, I think it'll people will grow in creativity. People will grow in, you know, in, in industry because men wouldn't stop working because then that would just cause them. They, you would be set. You would have to worry about who I'm a shooter. I'm going I'm to eat. You know what I'm saying? How I'm going to do this? You know, that ghetto, silly stuff, that foolish, devilish stuff. And you would just be, you know finding out what's the most important thing for every person, every citizen is what is your purpose? You don't want a bunch of square pegs in round holes. You want the square pegs in the square holes. You get it? You want people I, in the um, in your country, you want people in the positions where they have the talent. You know what I'm saying? And no, I'm not advertising Pepsi. But, um, so I, I don't have to get too much into the spiritual aspect of this because these other things is just you know gonna fill these in for you because it's too much of that like we get that's a broad spectrum but so mental mentally these jobs are pretty much little frat fraternity hazing um uh uh hazing grounds is what i call them you know that from the interview process on down for women you know a lot of women come there and try to sleep you know sleep their way to positions and that happens a lot cuz you know you get in the and and that's a, and that happens a lot in these in in these um private sector blue collar jobs these um like warehouse jobs i would say like more so like doesn't happen like when you it's man actually let me take that back that happens everywhere, <laughs> you know, not just in the warehouse jobs or not just in blue collar jobs, you know, like uh, working retail or things like that. That happens in not just in um, your 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 office buildings like, you know, for 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 smaller companies. That shit happen all the way up into for lawyers offices, all the way to doctors, all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Even, you know, now now positions like nurses and doctors and things like that. That's different because that should be a calling of your life. If that's a call, these people make decent money, you know, and you'll get the work, you know what I'm saying? And then people value what you do. You know, it's a mental mind if, for, you know, for you to be doing something and no one value, like, and to feel like it's not valued or something like that. And companies have a hand in that. These people try to hire too many people. These people try to split out hours, save a little. So when it comes to saving money, the first thing it kind of do is pay. The first thing they figure out is to do is pay you less. Like you an idiot. And wonder why people don't want to work there. I wonder why they turnover ratio up and down the board. They spend hella money training people these days. Hella money um, on drug tests, stupid ass drug tests. All D got drug tests where they her follicle testing people for two and three years. That's a waste of money, you idiot. It's a grocery store, and they bur and every time you go into all these, they never have nobody in a line. Like I mean, working in the register, you got a blind full of people and one person on the register. Another nigga all the way in the back of the warehouse. See, that's y'all. That's y'all idiocy. That's why y'all store don't get patronized. And if we stop patronize y'all damn store start going to sprouts and other stuff like that you know fuck y'all prices man i shop anywhere else you know what i'm saying and, and pay a little go drive a little further pay a little bit more if they you know is um uh, um uh, doing you know doing the community right you know i don't like like i don't spend my money at places where i feel like the employees not being treated right because if they not treating your employees right, they don't care about the customer. The company don't care about nobody. They just looking at dollar, 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 dollar. Give me your dollar. Give me dollar bill. Shit like that. And that shit annoy me. I don't like company. I don't like companies like that. I don't respect them. You know, because anybody can come produce this stuff these days. It's a competitive market, baby. 
you know, and, and, and in this day and age, it don't cost much to, 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 to do your thing. I mean, it costs money to start a business, and it costs, you know, depending on what you're trying to do, it could cost high dollar. But, you know, for the most part, depending on what you're trying to do, you could just get started with a little bit. So, y'all people need, and you know, you know, you don't have, you can make a little look like a lot. So, you know, you big companies should be aware too. Like, treat people good. You know what I'm saying? And it brings me to, you know, let me get into, like, like I said, it's hazing. A bunch of, you know, backbiting. A bunch of people talking behind your back. A bunch of uh, cutthroatism. A, a bunch of kiss assism, A bunch of mental stress. Pardon me. Uh, had to switch it up. But, yeah, you know, people be at these jobs. Have you ever noticed how they be so fed up? You know, that they be ready to go kill or to kill everybody on the floor. People wouldn't even have nothing to do with it. Things like that. That's how much mental stress these jobs cause. And jobs, like jobs in other countries, in Japan and stuff, they have stretching routines for people. They let people bring their little, in certain jobs, you can bring your pets, your cats. Like I said, not all jobs are created equal. Like, you know, certain jobs you go to school for, like video game designers or companies you work for, like Google, things like that. These are great companies to work for. You know what I'm saying? They're excellent companies to work for. You can retire there. That's the goal from companies is to create a company where you can, you know, build up your community, serve your community. You know what I'm saying? Make profit, of course. You know what I'm saying? To give back and things like that. And off of, you know, where people can retire. Give people um, a place where they can retire and um, build and build with you. You know, grow. They'll grow. When you help your people grow, you'll grow exponentially. But companies don't get that tenant, so they just want to work. They slave drive, modern day slave drivers. And so that brings me to the physical aspect of things, man. Your physical health, heart attacks, you know, people, this, this food people eat. When you at these jobs, a lot of these blue collar jobs, you know, you're doing major heavy lifting and things like that, or you, or you just, um, uh, got to deal with stress. Some people are stress eaters. So when they at these jobs, they constantly stress eating, 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 you know, eating snacks and snacks and they're they not paying attention. They, some people don't even have the time to pay attention to what they're doing because they're working so hard. You know, they got to eat this real quick. They're not eating healthy. You know, they breed these jobs, breed that type of stuff, you know, and that causes heart attacks um, that causes, you know, uh, health, def you know, a lot of health problems. People be hurting and don't even know why. So, with that being said, pardon me. That being said, um, like I say, man, these jobs need to get it together, man, because they the most unhealthy, some of the most unhealthy places on earth in America, you know, and it shouldn't be like that, you know. It, it definitely shouldn't be like that. They should be. They should definitely have uh, more concern with their employees' well-being. So I said I don't support those type of companies. But y'all be careful out there, man. You know, find your purpose in life. Find the purpose that you um that you supposed to that God has ordained for your life, man, and just seek that out and do it, man. You know what I'm saying? See God, seek the purpose God got for your life, and just and and go do that. Pursue that. Some people are always worried about money and the cheddar cheese. Some people do have responsibilities, and I get that. And, I mean, when you're selling that as a job, you're selling them your time for money. It's nothing wrong with that. You know, and you should do the best. I hate when you should do the best that you can while you're there. I hate when I'm uh, somewhere and the person just look all miserable and, uh, you know, don't want to do it. Like, dude, quit. <laughs> you eat. Quit. Just quit. We, you don't make everybody else miserable. So... You know, but definitely, you know, worry about your health, get on your health and things like that, you know, and keep God first, man. It's your man, Nico B. Black Effect, you know what it is.